Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. Today, guys, I'm here to review the newest DC animated film from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment, Catwoman Hunted. I do want to thank Warner Brothers Home Entertainment for sending me an early copy to review for the channel. Now to get right to the point, is Catwoman Hunted a good film? I think it will depend on what you are expecting from this movie. If you're expecting a ton of action in this film, then you are in for a ride. If you're expecting this film to have a lot of story and a lot of narrative to go on, unfortunately, that's not the case. When I finished the film yesterday, I was sitting there thinking for a few moments about what all happened in this movie, and there's some interesting story points, but there isn't a lot of it. The majority of this film is just action scene, action scene, action scene, and at a certain point, it went from, this is exciting, this is engaging, I'm having fun with this, to this is all pretty much what the film is, besides a few story points here and there. And that's what really disappoints me because I think the marketing has done a pretty solid job of showing us some really cool moments from the film. But when you sit and watch all of it together and not just cut up little pieces here and there for the marketing, you really get a sense of that they're just throwing an action, action, action because they don't have a lot of story here to really dive into. And the story you do get, it's either pretty interesting or oh, okay, I, I guess. I'm not going to dive into too much of this because I don't want to get into spoilers. But there are a lot of villains in this movie. And they've showed quite a bit of them in the marketing. But there are a lot of villains in this film. And when you watch the film, you get a sense of that some of these villains are here for a purpose. And a good portion of the others are just there to be on screen. And for me, and I've always said this, story, narrative is the most important thing when it comes to a TV series or a film. And if there isn't a really good story reason or a good narrative reason for a character to show up good or bad it's not necessary i think catwoman hunted would have been a better film if they would have scaled back on how many villains were in the film and focused on the ones that actually were important to the narrative that they set up at the beginning of the film the opening of the film felt like a catwoman movie she's at this costume party at this giant mansion she's there to steal a very valuable item and it set up pretty damn well the film in terms of Selena Kyle, her personality. It was just all working. And once we leave that mansion, which is about 10, 15 minutes into the film, is when things start to go all over the place. Pretty much right away, you get introduced to Black Mask, Tobias Well, and a few other characters that are important to the overall narrative. But then once we get past that point, like I said, leaving the mansion is when things start to get pretty ridiculous in terms of random characters popping up and just random things happening that just don't feel truly connected to what they set up in the beginning of the movie. If they would have scaled back and focused on Black Mask, Tobias Well, and a few other characters that are within the first bit of the film, and that was kind of the main focus, the main drive of the film in terms of who's actually the villains of the story in terms of the ones we need to truly focus on this film would have been narratively better that's just my opinion though let's jump into something more positive which is the voice cast i really enjoyed what everybody brought to the table in terms of their portrayal of these characters and honestly the best part of it is catwoman and batwoman's dynamic and how they kind of set that up a little bit and how it played out through the rest of the film i really enjoyed seeing them banter and have conversations back and forth it was really a nice addition to the film in terms of having batwoman being the co-lead of this i want to be crystal clear about the action sequences because on one hand there's a good portion of the action scenes that narratively make sense and were pretty well executed but there's another portion where literally it's like we just finished an action scene and we're getting another one right away like literally no time has passed and we're getting another one and it turns from being really engaging to just this is just too much. The film is relying too much on the action. I get it because I've said this before. Comic book movies need action, but they need to have a purpose. And in this case, some of it does. Sometimes not so much. It's just let's just keep the action going. Let's just keep it going. Another positive I want to bring up is the animation style they went with for Catwoman Hunted. It is really anime influenced and it really delivers on that front. And also too, the soundtrack of this movie is pretty interesting and it really works well with the actual animation overall. And I feel like that was a really uh, positive thing because there are certain shots in this with the music and how it's setting up a certain tone and then seeing some of the visuals. It was just really working for me, honestly. I wanted to just love this film. But unfortunately for me, there are just certain things that just don't work for me. There's too much action and there isn't enough story. And I just wish there was more story, less action to kind of balance it out. But I wish, I wish it was just overall a better balance of those things. 
Overall, this film, of course, has its positives and negatives for me. I feel like there's people that are going to love this film when they see it. There's going to be people that are going to have major issues with it. And there's going to be people kind of like me where they're in the middle, where they like certain things, they dislike certain things. And overall, for me, I just wish there was a better way they could have structured this film because I feel with them doing a Catwoman solo film, not really solo because she's kind of co-leading with Batwoman, but the idea of her being the main focus, I think it's a pretty smart idea. Just wish the execution was a little bit better because I feel like the character deserves it. That's my non-spoiler thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And when you get a chance to see Catwoman Hunts, and I'm curious to know what you guys felt about the movie and what you felt overall they did right, what they did wrong, and what you would have changed if you wanted to change anything. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.